really, really good job by our, our pitcher, Caleb Bolden. You know, we, uh, we were hoping to get four, maybe five out of him and then kind of go from there. But he, he kind of got it rolling, gave him the sixth and seventh and got a couple big double play balls. I think one with the runner first and third and one out. And I think the other one maybe first and second and one out and got himself out of a couple of jams by locating a couple of sinkers type fastballs and, uh, you know, gave him an opportunity to stay in the game, kept his pitch count down a little bit. And, and it was good to see Cody come in and, and, and pitch after, you know, not pitching for a while, uh, you know, recovering from Tommy John, had a good start to the season, had some soreness, and uh, looks like he's on his way back, and we could definitely use him. So that was really good to see. Played really good defense, uh, which is really uh, something that we needed. Um, um, offense on, on offensive end, you know, we did just enough. I threw a lot of guys at us that uh, – Everything was slow. We're not maybe not used to seeing it too much, but timing wasn't great. But uh, did a good job driving in some runs when we had the opportunity. How good was it to have such a nice, clean game after last night? Who knows? You know, I mean, baseball—it's just kind of the way it works. Sometimes you, you know, sometimes you score too many runs the day before, and next day you don't score. And as a coach, you kind of you, you see it. You see it a lot. You know, I think about. A couple of games already this year, we punched in a bunch of runs, and the next day we we can't we can't buy a big hit. So it's just such a mental game. But uh, you know, I just think there's a lot of concentration. I think it starts that the pitchers throwing a lot of strikes, and guys are into it. Um, you know, you, the weather was good. You know, they weren't cold, and wind wasn't blowing real hard. And I mean, it was tough fielding the ball last night. How big was it to, to get a nice start like that when you had to throw a lot of guys? You obviously have a quick turnaround for Auburn. Well, when you're playing a Wednesday game and you know you're within 48 hours almost playing in a series on the weekend, you know it's nice to have a guy go out and give you some quality innings so you don't have to go through five or six guys and you know then have to make a decision you want to recycle somebody or somebody that you need. You know, on the weekend, um, it, it takes a lot of pressure off the coaching staff, number one, and and our, and our pitching staff. Three ninety-four pitches today. Is he uh, bring back on Sunday? Or? No, we won't put him on the roster this weekend. Probably just let him get ready for next Tuesday. And uh, we've been wanting to, a guy to do that. You know, it's kind of <laughs> what you want. Um, doesn't mean he's going to pitch the next Tuesday and the next Tuesday. It just it'll work out well this weekend. And he hasn't thrown on the weekend much anyway, so. Uh, he can gain some experience that way for us. How would you describe this uh, tear, I guess, cursed has? But I had a 14 game hitting streak, and what was Andrew's hitting four something, or what, what was it? 39. Andrew figured it out. He's well, smart with that stuff. I, I really wouldn't call it a tear because of what I've seen him do. You know, he's just, he's just a good hitter. And uh, if you make a mistake, you leave it in the zone a little bit, he usually doesn't miss it. Um, and he hits it hard somewhere. And, He's just a good hitter because he, he uses – he can drive the ball to left field and just like today, he can turn on a ball. Last night he hit one down the right field line. Um, you know, he also got a big hit the other way between the five and six hole um, last night. He just uh, – he stays over the ball and uh, he's just a, a quality hitter. So, you know, uh, sometimes, you, you know, maybe to go on a little bit of a streak like this, you have to have a little bit of luck. But there's, there's just a lot of skill involved there. In his two starts, 13 scoreless innings, he's a guy that you didn't get until after the draft. I mean, how, how big was that? Game game? It was real big. You know, he's a guy that we had him in two or three times on, on unofficial visits and, you know, visited with him and showed him around. And, you know, his velocity was 86, 87. We needed to see a little bit more. And then, then in May of his senior year, here it came. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of had more of an idea where we were at with guys coming back and who was going to sign and, you know, kind of opened up a spot that where, you know, we made him an offer there late May, early June. And, uh, you know, he's thinking about going to junior college, thinking about signing. And, you know, I think he made a good decision coming to school. As far as Kirst, that last one, how far does that rank with some of the ones you've seen? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the better ones. That That's for sure. It's a no-doubter. You know, it was a light wind, kind of blown across. and. I don't think the wind hurt it at all. Might have even helped it. But uh, right when I left the bat, I mean, my comment—I forget who said—I said that that one's not coming back. You know, that was just so obvious being on the field when it left. The sound—he got extension. Um, 
it just uh, it really exploded off his bat. I, you know, probably hit it 420 feet would be my guess. And uh, exit velocity was pretty high, I would say, as well. Isaiah, how did his little... It went good. Yeah, it went good the other day. Uh, he'll be back on the roster. Uh, as of right now, I don't think he'll be starting. I don't know if there's enough pitches ready there, but uh, you know, we'll we'll try to figure all all that out tomorrow and 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 go from there. You know, one of the things talking about the weekend, we got to try to figure out how to handle the weather on Friday. I don't, I haven't looked at it today, um, but if it hasn't changed, it's it's going to be interesting. When 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 did Isaiah throw his bullpen? Was it yesterday? Uh, Monday. Yeah, I think it was Monday. Murphy's still your second day starter, and then just go from there. Yeah, that's the way I see it right now. Um, you know, if we end up having to play a doubleheader, we'll we'll figure all that out. Obviously, that's a pretty nice pitching matchup in Game One. Um, how, how'd you? What, what's your anticipation for that first game? With, I think with it'll be it'll be a, you know one of many really good SEC pitch up uh, pitching matchups. You know, there's. So many good pitchers in the league this year. Um, you know, I thought last Thursday the first game of the series at Ole Miss was a great matchup, and hitters did a pretty good job. And now, you know, Casey Mize is about as good as it gets. Um, you know, he's he's pretty special. He's having a, a great year. Nobody's really doing much with him. So, uh, you know, that'll be the first challenge. And then the other challenge is just getting out those hitters because they they've been swinging the bat pretty well this year. How do you feel like Blaine's pitch this year, and, and you know, what's your anticipation for him trying? I think Blaine's been really solid, and he's been really good a few days. His stuff's been great, but even on days when it's just okay, uh, the more mature, older Blaine Knight, experienced guy, knows how to get through some innings, and uh, you know he, he seems to get out of jams. He doesn't get rattled. Um, he, he knows how to pitch, and uh, pitching's not all about velocity. It's about location, and... You know, having some guts out there and, you know, finding a way. And he's, he's done a pretty good job. How do you approach a guy like Mize who hadn't walked anybody in a month um, and just what he, what he does? Like? He makes it tough for you because, you know, you'd like to get his pitch count up and get him out of, you know, get him out of the game in the seventh inning. Um, but at the same time, you go up there and swing, you know, maybe your best chance to hit him is one of the first couple of pitches. So, you know, we'll just go in there and attack the best we can and see what's going on. I mean, if he's just filling it up like they say he's been doing and what we've seen through video mostly, uh, you know, we'll just have to be aggressive. We don't want to get behind in the count, give give him even more advantage. Hey, you guys are five and four. I think they're four and five. I mean, it looks like it's going to be pretty bunched all year. Just kind of how do you feel about Auburn and the standings and everything? Well, Auburn's one of the top teams, obviously, in the country. And, uh, you know, they've won, I don't know, 22, 25 games somewhere in there. And, they, you know, they, they've, they've got a guy that's gotten off to a great start every weekend and in my. So uh, they're hitting a lot more home runs than they have in the past. Um, team batting average is higher than it's been in the past. Seem to be fielding the ball pretty good. Um, you know, they didn't have a great defensive weekend against Missouri. It cost them a game. But... Uh, they're like everybody else in this league. If you make mistakes, they're going to beat you. If you play solid baseball, it's probably going to go down to the wire. So, uh, you know, our focus is just really for us just to play good baseball and give ourselves a chance. Wayne had a rough outing there last year. Yeah, he did. And how much do you think that might drive him this week? Well, I think everything's driving him this year, to be honest with you. You know, yeah, he remembers that. They they got him early, man. They swung, and they, they made contact, and they didn't mess around. And... Uh, but he's developed another pitch or two where he's got a little more in there where he's not going to just feature a couple. He's got four. So, um, you know, he'll, we'll adjust to that. Um, I'm sure they'll try to attack him again. Um, you know, I think what drives him is every every time he gets the ball, he's facing somebody's number one pitcher, and it's a big game. So, uh, you know, a little bit of that, you know, what they did to him last year, but more the fact that uh, he knows that we need him to give us some solid innings to start the series. Just off of Evan Lee's last couple of games, I mean, do you look to try and find a spot for him somewhere? Or? Yeah, I mean, the, the the key for Evan, I mean, I've always thought he was a really good hitter, is just finding him a position. You know, obviously he's a pitcher, but, you know, he's he hadn't played much first, and, you know, we've got three solid outfielders, and, uh, you know, defensively he he's not as good as they are right now. And, 
you know, Bonnie's been our DH. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's it's just one of those things. You got to mix and match. And, um, you know, either him or Bonfield would come off the bench and pinch hit or, you know, one of them will start and we'll go from there.